Jersey. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are here with the final closet reveal, finally. Um, I'm all done, everything is organized. I've moved everything from upstairs down here to the second floor and I have converted my office space to a closet. So um, it's still my office space as well. I basically made this into a filming room, closet in my office space and I love it so much y'all. Like I come in here and I lay on my chaise and I read a book and I, I mean this is just my safe haven now. Like I love of being in here when it was my office I mean it was just an office it really was like I would come in here and pray yes um, meditate sometimes but I find myself in this room so much like I want to sleep in here like I love it so much if you are new here my name is Peyton I call all of my subscribers PayPal's and I would love for you to join the PayPal network um, I do a lot of travel vlogs vlogs lifestyle vlogs mommy diaries Girl, it's lives. It's, it's a blast over here. You, it's top tier over here. You're going to have a blast, okay? I do a lot of DIYs. Um, I'm just I'm starting a DIY series, so this is going to be the first DIY episode in Dang You DIY because I built this closet behind me by myself with nails on, okay? And I did break a nail, but it wasn't because of my closet. I was trying to open some... Um, cards you know those little affirmation cards i was trying to open it with my nail girl and it broke i'm like now i look out of all the things that i do with my hands and i never break a nail i break my nail trying to open some cards but anyway in today's video i'm going to be talking all about this closet system behind me how i built it how much it cost how i designed it and why I wanted to transform my office into a closet. So if you are interested in these types of videos, definitely give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's jump into today's video. Okay, so how did I even get to the point where I wanted to transform my office to a closet? It had got really bad. It had got really bad in my bedroom closet. I did not know that I had the clothes that I had in there. Like. Moving everything from the third floor to the second floor into this closet, I realized, first of all, you're a hoarder. You are a hoarder. I still had dresses from 2017 with, with tags on it. It was so dark in there. I couldn't see what I had. So I was never wearing the clothes that I was buying. It's crazy. I had to donate so much stuff, y'all, because it was like, don't put that on. You're not going to wear that. It ain't even in style no more. Donate it. Give it to somebody who's going to wear it because you're not. One day I was getting ready for my Joe Malone meet and greet and I was like, oh my God. I, I found a top in there that I didn't even know that I ordered. I didn't even know that I had it. So I was like, okay, let's go to the container store and get some storage bins so we can start utilizing the closet in the second floor office, right? Because it was a mess. Like both of my closets were a mess. I walked into the container store and I saw all those closet systems and I fell in love and I was like, oh my God, I would love this. I would love a custom closet, right? Baby, I looked at their price. It was $20,000 for a closet, baby. That's Cameron new car. I was like, oh no, oh no. So I remember that my, one of my good friends, Monroe Steele here on YouTube, she has an Ikea pack system in her dressing room in her town home. And I love it. I love it. So I was like, okay, I am going to make me an Ikea PEX closet system, right? It's way more affordable. Um, and so I, I started like binge watching. I, fa I fell down a rabbit hole of like watching everybody put their closet together. All these different girls 
on uh youtube that have ikea packs and some like amina coco monroe steel tony self dollars like so many different girls and i was extremely inspired by tony's um closet system so i watched her video like 10 times okay i watched amina coco's video maybe twice because she was really detailed on how to install the lights but i think she had the Norfly lights um but i was super super inspired and i was like you know what i could put this together myself it don't look hard so i went on ikea and i designed it myself it took about four days because the first time i designed it it was extremely expensive like i, I was doing too much it was like a three thousand dollar closet and i was like wait a minute now so i was like okay let's start clean slate start all over I was using the presets because at first when I first started designing it I really didn't know what I was doing but then I started using the presets I realized as I got you know a little bit more experience with the um, design software that you can take things out put things in replace and stuff like that so I really started playing with it and by the time I was done I came up with this one and it was like $1,900 it was $1,900 a little over um, and then so it got delivered I put everything in my cart I didn't have to go to Ikea at all because you can go in the store and you know design it with someone and have a consultation and all that Ikea is like 40 minutes away from where I live and listen if I don't have to go I don't go because th that's too much it's too hot so I did everything here in my home I ordered it I put it in my cart it was delivered I made sure that I paid um, the extra delivery fee for them to actually bring it into the room so I didn't have to pick up anything heavy and br bring it upstairs they did everything for me thank you god um and then yeah i started putting it together so you can check out some of my vlogs where i actually show you guys me building everything putting the lights in and all of that um extremely detailed and just putting the room together um but yeah it was super easy now after everything got delivered i decided that i wanted to add in the pull out drawers so when i'm looking for shoes and I want to put shoes I don't have to reach in and actually pull the shoes out I can just pull the draw so I went back and ordered some of them and then I ordered a shelf as well um for the office um and all that came out to be three hundred dollars I also ordered some of those little um white dots that you can feel all of the dots in because i don't know if you guys can tell but you know you can see all of the like white holes where you can adjust the shelving those things are extremely tedious to put in so i think i put in like 10 and then i gave up but i bought two packs of those as well that order came out to be 400 so if we're talking about the complete cost of my closet system i would say it was around about $2,200 in total $2,200 which I don't think is bad in comparison to the closet systems that I've seen in the container store now don't get me wrong those closet systems were really really nice but I did take into consideration that I may move one day and I didn't want to spend that amount of money on a custom closet these I can you know just take apart um, and move them with me um, and I covered one wall instead of making this a, a room filled with you know these uh, closet bins so I did do all of this myself this is an entire do-it-yourself type of situation I measured the wall I measured the height of my wall and the width of my wall I really surprised myself when I did that y'all because uh, I was scared that it was gonna be too big for the wall and it wouldn't fit but I actually have like a little teeny tiny space that could fit something I don't know maybe like an ironing board in between but I measured it really really good and I got the tallest um closet system so the tallest height these these walls in my town home i think i these i want to say these are 10 foot ceilings i want to say um and the closet system is like nine feet so when i was organizing this closet my inspiration was a high fashion designer boutique when you walk in everything looks like you know you're going shopping so um that's how i organized everything and yeah we'll talk about the organization later on in the video but i do want to go ahead and show you guys how i designed everything okay so when you first go on to the ikea website it's going to be a little difficult to find the ikea pex planner for some reason so for me i just like to search ikea pex designer and from there i find it on the web 
I don't know why it's this way, but it's really hard to find. So from there, I go in to open the PEX planner and they're gonna give you three different options, whether they want you to um, browse inspiration or you can build it from scratch or you can select guide me. Because this is my first time doing this, I went for the guide me option and you're gonna have two different wardrobe layouts. I went for the single wall and this is gonna be the hard part because you're gonna have to measure your wall, the height and the width of your wall. You get two different depth options because I didn't want my clothes to stick out and I wanted to be able to put more in the closet. I chose the 22 inch and the 92 inch. From there, you click continue and now we're for the easy part. The easy part is choosing your combination. Now you can get a combination that's already put together for you and built out. Well, not put together, but built out for you. Um, and or you can, you know, choose a blank layout and build it from scratch yourself. I went for choosing a combination and that way I can just change things out. So I played with this okay, for about so as you four can different see on days the side it says what I decided like to customize. on so the before combination I started doing that, that I moved everything for around myself. and placed the layout how it would look in my room. So as you can see I got two large bins, one medium size and one small. I wanted to make sure that it was the way I wanted to look at it when I walked into my closet so I moved these around first and then I started changing the shelving and customizing it and I highly recommend doing it this way because you want to design it the way it's going to look in your closet next you're going to start customizing your shelving so I wanted this top shelf to be see-through so whatever I put up here I could see it that's the whole purpose of this closet is that it's functional and I can see what I have in my closet to actually wear so I'm changing all of this first row at the top to see-through glass shelving and they are a little bit more expensive but when I tell you the end result is absolutely beautiful you guys especially when you add lighting to the top shelf it just really amps up the look make sure you choose the correct color though as you can see these come in three different variations of colors so if you have an all white pack system make sure you choose all white complement shelving okay next we're going to go in and start removing shelving and changing things around so as you can see prior to this combination had um, a slew of wardrobe racks but i removed those out now i'm going to move the shelving around for my shoes um this was definitely something that i wanted because i needed to be able to see a lot of the shoes that i had and i just didn't have a space i'm a shoe girl so i need more space for shoes than anything i'm not a bad girl i'm getting into bags but yeah so i removed those see-through shelving at the bottoms because i'm going to add in more drawers so i'm going to move these drawers down and i'm going to add in some slide out drawers where i can add in like jewelry accessory boxes for my sunglasses and belts and accessories and things like that but we're also going to change that top shelving to glass see-through shelving as well because we want to make it into like a display case if you will for um, whatever is underneath it next I'm gonna go in and here I wanted these to be two wardrobe racks so I'm gonna go for the ready interior combination and I'm just gonna click on here and boom now I have two wardrobe racks I am gonna go ahead and delete that storage bin on the top shelf because first of all they charge you for those so make sure you delete it if you don't want it in your configuration okay and then I'm gonna go in and add a display shelf to this one as well because I do want to be able to put things on top of this wardrobe rack um, for display. Now for my shoe area, when I was thinking about setting this up, I didn't want to have to reach in and pull shoes in and out. So I added these pullout drawers, which are going to be so essential and they just really amps up the aesthetic of the wardrobe packs planner. Um, I'm also going to add in shoe um, holders as well because I think that just that just made it look so much more better. Now keep in mind as you add these pullout drawers, the cost in the upper right hand corner are going to increase but if you add the the basic shelving and then these on top you're going to notice that it's less costly than adding in the shoe racks that ikea has for you to choose from so that's definitely a, a hack when building your ikea packs is to try to use some of the basic complement shelving and then add on top of it 
and then here I'm going to go in and add more of those basic complement shelves so that's the all white shelf I'm not adding in glass uh, shelving and display casing for these these are just going to be all white and you can easily click the button on the bottom to duplicate when you want to add in more shelving instead of going over into the right and adding in them there be sure to make sure that you click on the white shelving as you can see they offer an array of options so here as you can see when I'm adding in my drawers for um, my jewelry I accidentally clicked on the wrong colors because they offer them in gray and in like a brown color so you want to make sure that you change those to white if you have a white PAX planner Now, Ikea has added in new facing for the drawer so I'm going to change these facings to the this complement drawer um, they are a little bit more is in the glass facing is definitely uh, more expensive but it just looks better and it gives a more luxurious vibe to your PAX planner um, after that everything is pretty much done and this is what we have so far now all we have to do is go and add in the lighting Now when you go to add in your lights, you're going to click on lights and scroll all the way down to inner lights. Once you click on the oversight and white lights, it's going to put the lights where it think light should be, but, but then you would have to go and specifically add a light to each shelving. If you want this to be a really lit up display of your um, for your closet, then you want to go and add in a light for each and every shelf that you have. Now, you don't necessarily need them over your accessories and your drawers, but if for your wardrobes, for your shoes, for your display, for your purses and your bags, I would definitely hi highly recommend adding a light for each of those. After you add your lights, this is what your price should be if you choose my configuration. You are at $2,194. Let's go ahead and finalize that, see what it looks like. It's perfect and exactly how I built it. Now we're ready to add it to the bag and finalize our order. Now if you have help, you can always pick this up at the store, but if you need it delivered, I highly recommend scheduling the in-home delivery and make sure you choose the $99 option because they will bring it exactly in the room that it's going to be set up in. I highly recommend. So after all of this is calculated with taxes and everything, it should be around about $2,300 possibly. Okay, so like I said, I definitely wanted this to be a functional closet system where I could see everything I had, but at the same time, hide a lot of things, right? So I definitely put in seven drawers, pull-out drawers, and I haven't decided what I want to put in this one yet because it has the glass um, front. Um, so it definitely needs to be something that would be aesthetically pleasing, but I have my... Um, active wares in here I have my intimates in here and then I have um, swimsuits as well and four extra drawers that I could grow into and put things into that I have not put them in yet um, but we got some um, some of these little display for my necklaces and my rings I thought that these were really cute I got these from Amazon so when I ran out of space to put my necklaces in in the pullout drawer I put in the excess uh, over here um, these display holders here 
that are showing my shoes the reason why i got these is because i really didn't want to put like my shoes straight across on the shelving i wanted it to be more of a boutique-ish feel right so when you walk into neiman marcus or nordstrom's you always see one shoe as a display out and then they have the matching in the back well i didn't do that but you do have that one shoe as a display on top of the uh riser and i got gold risers because my room is um cream and gold right so i got the gold risers from amazon and i thought that that really just added a nice touch as well now here i have the uh acrylic hangers and i'm talking about when you want your closet to look aesthetically pleasing like these are so luxurious these definitely give designer boutique they have the gold hook um you do have to put these together it's very tedious and these are expensive but so so worth it right so here this is like my neutral bin now i do have a pop of color at the top i'm gonna switch those around and put brown purses and gold up here so this can be pretty much color coordinated but i have my whites my creams my beiges um things that i would reach for items that i would reach for all the time that i need to see out and it just made sense to me okay the next bin this one houses uh my intimates my sunglasses my um jewelry and also a slew of my shoes and my bags like i said when i was putting this together and um i even designed how i wanted the shelves to be spaced out originally i wanted this whole space to be um wide enough and large enough the height of this shelving so i could put my tv in the back so i could still come in here and watch tv and also have like a fireplace playing in the background but then i was like ah no don't do that that's tacky don't do that no no it's, that's not giving high fashion no no so um i decided to just keep it all shoes all bags and instead of putting a lot of my sunglasses hidden away i decided to put them out on display under the shoes that would coordinate that um those sunglasses coordinate with those sunglasses and i got that idea from Aaliyah's face when she organized her closet so shout out to my sis for that idea and inspiring me to do that because i didn't really think that i would do it like that at first i was going to put all of my sunglasses away but um i feel like that's a little bit more functional to have the sunglasses that could coordinate with that shoe out that way i'll always be able to just reach for that sunglass right it just made more sense so shout out to Aaliyah for that again um but yeah we have the um we have our neutral and browns section and then my all white sections y'all when i tell you this this closet having this closet is just so essential because i didn't even know i had that many white purses i had forgot I was like, oh my God, when I was putting this shelf together, I'm like, oh my God, I got so many white purses. That is crazy. I didn't know that. And I'm steady buying more and more white purses, not realizing you have enough. You have enough. Then we have up here a lot of brown bags. Like I said, I'm going to move this section over here and I'm going to move the reds here because it just makes more sense. Green, red, white, brown, right? Um, but I have a lot of brown bags as well. So I made this section, um, my browns and my gold bags. And then up here is all of my greens. And over there is all of my reds. As far as drawer space, we have, um, my intimate drawer, which I feel, listen, I feel like a girl that got her shit together with this drawer. Because I don't even be wearing drawers like that. But just to know that I have them organized, baby, it be making me want to put panties on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It be making me want to put on a bra. And I got these organizers, um, these drawer organizers from Amazon. Oh, my God, y'all. Having this is just like, listen, you feel like that girl when you got it together like this. You, you do. You feel like that girl. And all of the drawers are soft clothes. All right, the next bin is my shoe column. And I love this, y'all, because I feel like when you walk in here, it just, it it completes everything just having this shoe column here. Honestly, I, what I love most about this whole pack system is that if I wanted to add this to more columns, I could do that. Like, as I 
as I grow into this closet, um, I can like change things around, like make it like a seasonal type of thing as well. But when I made this whole column, I was like, something is missing. And it was the pullout drawer. Like I didn't want to have to reach in and pull shoes out. I could pull this out, pick the shoe, and it has the soft clothes. Do you not love that? Do you not love that? And now I could have just got this drawer and not these inserts, but the inserts actually complete everything, right? Because, you know, when you're looking at the shoe, you have this little backdrop, if you will, this like, this like great backdrop that just adds to it that makes it just look more um luxurious like a, a designer store so everything is color coordinated starts blue then we get some whites and some pinks and then all of my black shoes and i just feel like girl i feel like that girl when it comes to this little shoe column right here because like first of all <laughs> okay and then the last column, I wanted to have more hanging space. Now, if this is going to be my closet, of course, I'm going to be able to grow into it and things like that. And as I purge and make room for new stuff, I need to have more hanging space. And I didn't want my whole pack system to just be a display case for my purses and my shoes. I actually want it to be, you know, clothes hanging and things like that, like an actual store when you go in a store. So this is my black area here. So these are your blacks and your browns. Um, and then I did add some shoes here to like give it more of a boutique feel. And then here at the bottom are all of my pants and they're color co coordinated from white, cream, beige, brown to black. Okay, so the reason why I added this shelving here is because I felt like when I walked in, something was missing in between these two closets. So I also went on Ikea and bought this shelving and once I put it up, I'm like, okay, hmm, what am I going to put here? And what made more sense was my silver accessories. So my silver shoes, silver bag, you know, um, a, a couple of fragrances, you know, because I, I do got a lot of perfume. So overflow candles and things like that and my iPad. But I can also like switch things around on here as well. So based on the season, I can change things around and that's what I really like. And then we have our built-ins. We definitely had to organize those as well. So this starts out white and goes into color and overflows over into the other closet. Um, but up here, I did color coordinate some colorful bags that I had and colorful shoes. Um, so my lime greens and things like that are up here. We also have a few of my bigger bags. I just got this cute bag for vacation love that um then some shoes that i just wasn't ready to part with like i really really love them um but they're more on the colorful side so i decided to put them in here well damn i could have put some these these shoes out and them goals and then neutral that shit that could go out now nah, we'll leave them in there then in here in the second closet is all of the color. Ooh, hunty. And we got a lot of color. So, yeah, you definitely know that this has to be hidden in the built-in because, yeah, we got a lot going on. But everything is color coordinated. So it starts off the beiges and the browns and then it goes into um, the color and the blacks. So the blacks are kind of like pushed back. But everything is, what I like about this is I can still see what I got. It's not too crowded and cluttered in here. I can still see what I got to be able to reach in and get ready. Know that I have this cute little outfit to put on. And yeah, put that shit on. Um, we also got some stuff at the top. Y'all don't need to see that because this is a hidden storage space. But I want to definitely add more like storage bins. So even that up there will look more aesthetically pleasing than just... Okay. This is where she puts stuff when she don't want people to see it. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of vibe. Then over here is my office section. So I did buy this riser um, for my iMac. I just recently got an iMac so I can start like really tapping into like um, my production and editing and stuff like that. I was editing on my MacBook here um, and I wasn't able to see everything in the quality and resolution that I post. I post my videos in 4k now and this is a 4.5k um 
screen display so I can see things how they actually look and this is just more faster and functional for me to edit on so i bought the imac and then i also bought this riser um this boo clay chair is from wayfair as well as the rug it matches with the rug perfectly i love it the desk is from homery and my chaise is also from uh wayfair and the boo clay matching pillow is from um amazon so i just got a, a, a throw pillow so the throw pillow is from amazon okay so this mirror listen this completes the room okay especially with having the closet as the backdrop in all of your pictures listen listen pressure okay so this mirror i got from overstock it was heavy and high. I think this was like a $400 mirror, but it's perfect. It has the gold outline. And this was already in my office anyway, so I didn't change anything around. It's still in the same spot and everything. But I definitely wanted to utilize and repurpose things that were already in here. So I didn't have to buy everything new. And this mirror's perfect. Okay, perfect. Like, listen, look at the backdrop. Like, do you see that? Look at the backdrop. Can we talk? Can we talk? You, how can we not? Let's talk about it. Like, it's just perfect. Now, what is an all white room without pompous? What is it? What is it? So, I got this pompous from Home Depot. Mm hmm. This pompous was $3.99 for three stems. And I think I bought all that they had. This was like. This was in the fall though. Uh, this was definitely in the fall. I don't think that they have it anymore, but definitely go and check your Home Depot, your local Home Depot to see if they got this because listen, great pompous. And this is like, I ain't gonna say it's real pompous, but it, it gives real pompous because the way it sheds, I definitely had to spray some gossipy on it, but this just really completed the room, especially adding this vase from at home. Now this vase was high as hell. It was $104. They definitely inflated their prices on their va they vases. I don't like it. But I could not leave it. This was the last one that they had at home. And I said, this is going to be perfect in that corner. Because there's something missing in that corner. Right by the closet, the built-in closets. And it was dead. And it's perfect. Perfect height and everything. And the pompous fits in it perfectly. Uh-oh. And then last but not least, girl, I saw this cute MacBook cover because my MacBook was looking a little dirty. So I was like, okay, let me give me a little MacBook cover, baby. Why well, I seen that they had a boo clay MacBook cover that matches my, my closet, the whole closet aesthetic. I had to get it. Now, it's not actually boo clay. This is actually like leather. But when you looking at it, it gives very much boo clay. And I was like, come on now. Come on, Amazon. Yes. And it comes with like, everything it has the keyboard cover and everything it is so so cute and super affordable so i will have everything linked that i talked about in today's closet reveal um my wayfair links check my amazon store for everything that i got off amazon um as well as homery and overstock this was literally an amazing DIY project to do y'all. I am so, so proud of myself. If y'all are inspired, I definitely recommend y'all getting an Ikea PEX closet system. It is so much more affordable than doing a custom closet. It's rewarding if you do it yourself and it's so easy to design. I mean, if you want to do your whole room, you can do your whole room and it doesn't stop there. This is basically just getting you started. You can really get heavy into designing your custom closet um with ikea um they just have everything to get you started so even if you wanted to go a little bit further and actually like do more with it and really get custom with it you can but this is a definitely an affordable option i highly highly recommend um i didn't have any trouble putting this together besides the fact that you know my back was hurting a little bit doing it on my own it was so rewarding y'all i i love my closet i love being in this space i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did definitely give me a thumbs up do not forget to like and subscribe check out some of my vlogs and i'll see you in the next dang you did it yourself episode soon